Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day, and today uh, we're going to be going over my NFL Week 14 power rankings. Let's go over it. Um, yeah, so starting off with 32, uh, the team I think that's probably, I mean, there are three teams that you can argue the worst teams in football, but the team I kind of will argue with that it's the worst team in football, to me, it's the Jacksonville Jaguars. Two and ten. The two and ten previously last week had them at thirty two. They lost to the Texans twenty three to twenty. The next team I think is kind of tied for the next team in football. Uh, I don't look. I'm not going to tell you that the Giants are a good football team because they're not. They're they're terrible. I just think the Giants are a tiny bit better than Jacksonville. It's not. It's not by a big margin. I just think they're just a little teensy teensy bit better. Teensy teensy bit better than Jacksonville. They have the same record at two at two and ten, two and ten. Last week had them at thirty one. They lost to the Cowboys in Thanksgiving, twenty seven to twenty. All right, thirty. We got the Raiders. I think out of all the th- out of the three teams that are two and ten, the Raiders might look the best. Maybe just that's just because of what Aiden O'Connell did. Look, I think there's new hope for the Raiders with Aiden O'Connell potentially. Let's see how he does in their last five games obviously the Raiders can't make it to the playoffs they're two and ten but Aiden O'Connell I thought looked spectacular against the Chiefs who have had a good defense for a good part of the season um really most of the time this year their their offense has been the problem not their defense if you look at Kansas City uh so Aiden O'Connell lit up that defense and in his in his other games he hasn't looked terrible he he at at times he looked really good for a rookie last year. Let's see what he does in these last five games. It's not going to change what this Raider team is this year, um, because they're still going to finish with a bad record. Like they can win out, and that that's not going to happen. They're not going to win out, but they could win out. They're still seven and ten. That's a bad record. But I thought he played really good this past this past week on Friday, uh, in the. Uh, Chiefs game, and um, if he can play like that the rest of the year, it might change the decision on drafting, on potentially drafting a, you know, a, uh, sorry, a a quarterback. I mean, like, the Raiders maybe could put themselves in a position where maybe they still finish out with a really bad record, maybe the worst record in football, maybe they finish out like 3-14, and but even though their team's playing really bad, Aiden O'Connell still looks really good, and they get like the first overall pick, and they decide first or second overall pick, and they decide we see a, we see talent with Aiden O'Connell now when he just has Jacoby Myers and Brock Bowers. We're gonna add in Travis Hunter for him and see what he can do with Hunter Bowers and Jacoby Myers. I guarantee and draft a running back later in the draft. I guarantee you, if the Raiders. If the Raiders draft Travis Hunter and draft a, a, a good running back at some point in, later in the draft um, and put Hunter with Jacoby Myers, Trey Tucker, Brock Bowers, and a, and a solid running back uh, who, you know, drafted in, you know, drafted at some point in the draft, and you have Max Crosby coming after your opponent's quarterback. Aiden O'Connell will have success in Las Vegas if he has to throw the ball to Hunter, Bowers, and Jacoby Myers. I'm telling you right now, if the Raiders can land Travis Hunter and and have Aiden O'Connell throwing the ball alongside having to throw the ball to Bowers and Jacoby Myers, Aiden O'Connell will be a really good quarterback in this league. And not only that, but defenses will have a hard time going up against Bowers and, uh, and Hunter also knowing the fact that you also have a really other solid wide receiver on the field than Jacoby Myers. Uh, the Raiders' future could be nice. If O'Connell looks sharp in the last five games, and they, they get in position to get Hunter, in my opinion. 29, I'm not going to spend too much time on the Patriots, 3-10. and 10, Previously, number 29, lost the Colts, 25-24. to 24. It's a heartbreak, heartbreaking loss. Their kicker, Joey Sly, nearly made the Best kick of all time. Nearly made a 68-yarder, which would have been the record. Tough for the Patriots. 28. Uh, I don't need Look, the Patriots, I don't want to spend too much time on this team. I don't want to talk about them at all. So I'm just going to describe their record and what happened in this week. 
Jets, 3-9. Last week, 28. Lost to Seahawks, 26-21. That's it. 27 Browns, 3-9. Preseason number 25. They lost to the Broncos, 41-32. Yeah, I mean, this was a one of the best games I've watched this year. Davis Winston near 500 passing yards. Uh, his best game of his career. Although, at the same time, he threw 500, near 504 touchdown passes. He also managed to throw three interceptions and two pick sixes. Uh, and Bo Nix had a very solid game as well. And this was a very, very good game to watch uh, Monday night that we witnessed. Um, look, the Browns record is terrible, 3-9. But, look, I, I looked at their schedule last night, like their, the, like all their 12 games um, this season. And if you had Jameis Winston in all 12 of their games this year instead of Deshaun Watson uh, in all, you know, in, in a good part of their games that they've played this year, as Deshaun started like five, six games for them, maybe more. I honestly think that the Browns right now have maybe a five and seven, six and six record with Jameis Winston. If if Jameis Winston was their starter the full year instead of Deshaun Watson being the starter for half the year and Jameis Winston being start the starter for the other half of the year, um, I think they'd be five and seven, six and six right now compared to three and nine team. All right, 26. I got the Titans 3 and 9, preseason number 26. Lost the Commanders 42 to 19. 25. Rare that I'd move teams up after losing, but the Panthers 3 and 9, previously number 27. Lost the Bucks 26 to 23. Let's credit the Panthers for the last two weeks being competitive with good football teams, the Buccaneers. I know the Buccaneers are have an even record, but the Bucs are con- the the Bucks are a different team when they have Mike El- Mike Evans healthy. They've had that these last two weeks, um, and then the Chiefs the week before. I think the Chiefs are one of the worst eleven one teams of all time, but that doesn't change the fact that the Chiefs are a great team compared to what the Carolina Panthers have been this year. I think if you if you put up the you put up the Chiefs against some some other better teams like we're gonna see the Chiefs play the Chargers this weekend. I don't like the Chiefs in that matchup. But when you put the Chiefs against the Panthers, the I I the Chiefs is a great team when they're going up against the Panthers. And what did the Panthers do? Bryce Young went in there, had his best game of the year, and they nearly won. Then this week, going up against Tampa with Baker Maker B- Baker Mayfield red hot uh with his previous week. And their defense actually did a really good job of maintaining Baker Mayfield. Um, the unfortunate thing is their defense really sucks against the run. So that meant field day for Bucky Irving, field day for Rashad White. But Bryce Young still had the game of his life and did everything he could to get the Panthers a win through a what he thought would probably be a game-winning touchdown pass to Adam Thielen. And look, he even he even drove in overtime, even though the defense could not stop the Bucks to get a field goal. Um, he drove them down the field in overtime, and his, and his running back fumbles. So Bryce Young is developing, and he's turning into a real starting quarterback in this league. And that makes me want to move the Panthers up with the way he's played in the last two weeks. All right, twenty four got the Saints four and eight, previously twenty one. Lost the Rams 21-14. Another team I got moving up, even though they lost um, at the 4-8 Bears at uh, 23, preseason number 24. Why, why are you moving up the Bears when everything happened last week? I think there are legitimate reasons to move up the Bears. I mean, um, for starters, number one, even though things ended in a disaster for them in their last game, it's not an act like Caleb Williams had a great game. I mean, Caleb Williams was terrible in the first half. Then he just absolutely lights out in, in the second half. He had he had a great game, and they competed with a good Lions team. That's one thing. The number the the other the other thing for me is is Matt Eberflus is gone, and to me, I I think that makes the Bears a better team. I'm being fully honest. The Bears improved. And, and made me want to move them up in the rankings, even though it wasn't something they did on the field. It was fine, their head coach. I think the Bears become a better football team without Matt Eberflus. I think Caleb Williams is a better quarterback without, without Matt Eberflus. Um, and without Matt Eberflus, 
the Bears might might have pulled off two wins against some two against two good teams against the Lions and the, and the Packers, maybe even the Vikings as well. So um, we we could be looking at a completely different team in Chicago without Matt Eberflus, and he's gone. He's no longer gone. Or sorry, he's no longer on the team. He's no longer the head coach. So to me, I, I think that makes Carol that sorry that makes Chicago a better football team. And I was really impressed with the way they competed with Detroit, even though it looked like Detroit was running away with their with, with the football game. Um, all right, twenty two. I got another four and eight team who plays great football but doesn't find a way to win, and that's the Cincinnati Bengals. Priest number twenty lost the Steelers forty four to thirty eight. I'm heartbroken for Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. Man, worst defense ever, Cincinnati. I mean, come on. All right, let's talk about another defense that's looked like crap these last couple of weeks. It's the 49ers, 5-7. and seven. Previously, number 19 lost to the Bills, 35-10. to 10. Uh, Look, I will give the 49ers an excuse. It is very hard when you're facing Josh Allen and his running backs in the snow in Buffalo. Um, that is not an easy task and definitely doesn't help the 49ers when you start running backs out for the season. Um, nope, it does not. All right, 20, I got the Dallas Cowboys, 5-7, and seven, Priest number 23, beat the Giants 27-20. Hate to see the Cowboys moving up, but back-to-back wins, have to do it. A uh, bunch of teams losing. 19, Dolphins, 5-7, and seven, Priest number 16, lost to the Packers 30-17. Uh, Not going to hurt the Dolphins too much here. The only thing we did learn is the Dolphins cannot win in the cold, and I don't think they're ever going to be able to win in the cold. I think they'll be able to bounce back and get a win here this next coming week against the Jets, but they cannot win in the cold. Um, John Smith was a dog though. And I, I'm look, I'm excited to see what happens with them this week. And I think they went and proved six and seven, but, um, look, they competed with that. They, they competed at times with a really good Packers team, um, in cold weather, but they just can't win in cold weather. Um, we'll see what happens though this week. All right. Uh, 18, I got the Colts six and seven, pretty number 22, uh, they beat the Patriots twenty five to twenty four. Good win, good performance by Anthony Richardson. Seventeen. I got a Falcons team that did not have a good performance by their quarterback. They're six and six. Priest number fifteen lost the Chargers seventeen to thirteen. Look, not gonna hurt the Falcons too much here because they still have a good record at six. They still have a good six and six record. And not only that, um, let's also talk about the fact how. Their quarterback threw four interceptions. They only lost by four. Their defense, I thought, did a solid job in this game. Herbert didn't throw for 150 passing yards. Lad McConkey ran all over them, though, at the same time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Kirk, outside of Kirk Cousins, I don't think the team actually was that bad in this game. I, I think Kirk Cousins was the, the, the only reason they were bad in this game and the only reason they lost this game. We'll see how they'll do when Kirk goes up against his former team. 16, they got the 6-6 six and six Rams. Priest number 18, uh, beat the Saints 21-14. 15, I got the Bucks 6-6. Six and six. Priest number 17, beat the Panthers 26-23. to 23. Great one for the Bucks. 14, I got the Cardinals 6-6. Six and six. Priest number 12, great win. Sorry, 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 not, not a great win because they did not win. Uh, tough loss for the Cardinals. Um, losing to the Vikings 23-22, but a very close loss. So um, they 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 did fight with the, a good Vikings team. 13, I got the Commanders, 8-5, Priest number 14. They beat the Titans 42-19. I'm not going to try to hate on the Commanders, um, but it was the Titans. 12, I got the Texans, 8-5, Priest number 13. Beat the Jags 23-20. Same thing here as a Texans fan. It hurts to say it was the Jags. 11, Seahawks, 7-5, Priest number 10, beat the Jets, 26-21. Uh, I might have to say this again, it was the Jets. 10, got the Broncos, 8-5, Priest number 11, beat the Browns, 41-32. Uh, this is another team that won against a, a, a bad record team, but I don't really, I, I can't really say that they lost the you know, like once again, they lost the Browns because I think the Browns are way better than teams like the, uh, you know, way better than teams like the Jets or the Jaguars or the or the Titans. Way better. Um, like I mentioned, I think if Jameis had been quarterback all year, they'd be five and seven, six and six, not three and nine. Uh, but a great one for the Broncos. Nine got the Ravens. Eight and five. Priest number eight. 
Lost to the Eagles. Have tough to move the Ravens down a lot after their loss because I didn't have them too high after their win. Um, last week at eight, I got the team they beat in during Monday Night Football. Chargers eight and four. Priest number nine beat the Falcons seventeen to thirteen. It's hard to move the Chargers over the Ravens, even though the Ravens have that head-to-head matchup. But the Chargers have the better record at eight and four compared to the Ravens eight and five. Also, one one of these teams won this week, and one of them didn't. Ravens lost. Chargers won. All right, seven. I got the Chiefs eleven one. Priest number five beat the Raiders nineteen seventeen. Um, never. I don't think I've ever had a team move down back to back weeks, even though they've had wins. Um, eleven one football team should not should should not be winning two football games by only a combination of five points to two teams who have a combined record of five and nineteen. Panthers and Bryce Young, what happens? I mean they 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 let Bryce Young throw for what, like two hundred and eighty passing yards, whatever it was, absolutely go crazy, have one of his best games of the season and um Put up 27 points on the board, one of their highest totals of the year with Bryce Young. Absolutely look insane. And they have to fight until the end to get a win in, or not in overtime, avoid overtime, getting a game winning field goal kick. Then the next week, I honestly thought, I honestly really thought this would be the game for Kansas City where they'd finally be able to get out of the close game, you know, the cl- close games where you're in tight games and uh, are not able to blow out good opponents and no las vegas uh ed o'connell throws for over 300 brock bowers goes crazy jacoby myers had a great game the raiders run game which has been one of the worst run games in football killed the chiefs which the chiefs have had a good run defense for a good part of the year um and i will say mahomes looked pretty good but the chiefs defense looked terrible and uh, their offensive line looked terrible. And this is just not a performance for an 11-1 football team, if you ask me, from the last two weeks. This is not a performance of an 11-1 football team. I'm not going to tell you guys they're a bad football team because generally I do not think they're a bad football team. I think they're a good football team. But are they? do they show uh, like an 11-1 team? No. Look at the Lions who are 11-1. How many times have we seen them kill their opponents? Like let's look like the like the freaking Chiefs beat the two and ten Raiders by two and the three and nine Panthers by uh what was it three. What do the Lions do when they go up against bottom teams compared to the Chiefs? Jaguars, two and ten. Beat them by forty six. Um who else who else am I missing? They played uh the Titans three and nine. Beat them by thirty eight. The Cowboys, 5-7, and seven, beat them by 38 as well. And the Lions have a couple other double-digit wins this year. You know, the Chiefs only have two double-digit wins this year. 13 to a Saints team that didn't have Derek Carr for most of the fourth quarter. And 10 points to a Brock Purdy 49ers team that didn't have Christian McCaffrey, Brandon Ayuk, or Debo Samuel. Only George Kittle. I don't think Jordan Mason played in that game either. Um, so, honestly, I think at times the Chiefs team last year looked better than this year's team. The Chiefs last year beat Justin Fields and the Bears 41-10. to You don't see the Chiefs this year have those type of performances. And you actually kind of saw that a, a, a lot more during last year's Chiefs team compared to this year's. The Chiefs... The Chiefs Last year went eleven and six and have way more thirty point performances and way more double digit wins than this year's team. Um, I think they had like f- like four, maybe like three or four of their, I think f- four or five of their wins last year. Four four or five of their eleven wins last year were double digit wins. They had multiple thirty point performances last year. Uh, they had at least one forty point performance this year. And maybe maybe near to second forty performance last year, the, they haven't gone over thirty points this year. This is I'm not going to tell you they're a bad football team because they're they're still a good football team, 
but they're not they're not at the level for eleven one team. Uh, not not close. All right, six. I got the Steelers nine to three preseason seven. Great game by Russell Wilson. Uh, sent quarterback in the AFC North this week to throw four hundred. Beat the Bengals forty four to thirty eight. But their defense was a little bit concerning uh, in the late stages of the game. But um, still a good win for the Steelers. Five. I got the Packers nine to three preseason number six. Beat the Dolphins thirty seven thirty seventeen. Um, look, I know the the Steelers and Packers they have they don't have as good as a record as the Chiefs do at nine and three. But nine and three is not a huge difference between eleven and one. I think I think that I think I think honestly, you could say the Steelers and Packers have had a harder schedule than the Chiefs this year. And not only that, they've had to deal with adversity like the Steelers with QB chain with QB injuries. Russell Wilson hurt to start off the year. Jordan Love is hurt to start off the year. Um, and they've had better performances than the Chiefs as well. At four, I got the Vikings ten and two. Priest number four beat the Cardinals twenty three to twenty two. At three, I got the Eagles ten and two. Priest number three, they beat the Eagles. Sorry, the, yeah, they beat the they beat the sorry they beat the Ravens, um, twenty four to nineteen. Great win, great performance by Saquon. Um, and he would be the MVP favorite favorite if it wasn't for this guy, Josh Allen, who had two touchdown passes, a touchdown. A touchdown reception and a rushing touchdown this week, beating the 49ers 35 to 10. They're 10 and 2, priest number 2. Um, and it doesn't count much since the Chiefs are not as good as people think. Uh, but they're the only team to beat the Chiefs. Um, so the Bills have had a special year. And I think uh, number 17 is going to be the only reason Saquon potentially doesn't win MVP. At 1, I got, I think, the best team in football, the 11 1. Detroit Lions, priest number one, beat the Bears 23-20. Let me know your thoughts on my power rankings in the comment section. That's the video, and peace out.